Hey guys, welcome to Smells Like Heaven XO. My name is Kari. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you're returning, thank you so much for stopping by again and thank you for your support. Today I have a line sniff Goose Creek haul. Um, approximately 16 candles, 16 to 21. It, is, it was two different orders. So I ordered, uh, I had two different orders of uh, Goose Creek within the month of uh, March going into April. And uh, most of these are new to me. So I'm excited to share my reactions with you guys and I'm just gonna jump right in. The first one that I got, um, I got two that I already had. Um, I took, I participated in the five for, was it the six for 60 sale? Whichever one brought them down to $10. I'm pretty sure it was the six for 60 sale. I participated in that one twice so and i got free shipping because all of them came out to a hundred dollars so uh two of them i got repeats of which are backups and the first one of course is my beloved key lime cake pop i absolutely love this scent i actually have i got a i got a care bears uh dream clouds candle uh recently a couple weeks ago and I thought that it was Key Lime Cake Pop, and I was sadly mistaken. It was not Key Lime Cake Pop. It was uh, the Fruity Pebbles cereal candle that Goose Creek has. Um, it was not Key Lime Cake Pop. And once I got this one and I, and I received this one and I smelled my old one, I was like, yeah, th these are way more strong and intense. Um, and, the other, and it has much, much more lime. So I was mistaken, but I am still happy that I got that candle. I never had the Fruity Pebbles candle, and I love the way that it smells anyway. I just hope that it projects at a stronger um at a stronger <laughs> rate i guess than what it smells like on cold but this is my beloved key lime cake pop this is my second one i have half of one left i didn't finish it for the month of march because like most people do i wanted to wait to see if it was going to come back and it did so this smells absolutely amazing it smells like fruity pebbles or yeah i think fruity pebbles or fruit loop cereal with lime zest sprinkled in there uh, juicy lime cake batter, vanilla icing, and sparkling sugar. This is a backup. I might get more if the um, if there's another sale because I love it that much. Next one I got was cookies and cream pudding. This smells so good on cold. It smells like Oreos. It smells like Oreos. Oh my goodness, like Oreos and vanilla cream. Uh, scent notes are chocolate cookie, vanilla cream, cocoa powder, and chilled milk. This smells absolutely amazing. I did burn it once. Um, and the projection wasn't that great. You can only smell it when you're walking by it, but it was in my open concept. So I am going to burn it, um, again and try it in my closed concept. Either way, I, I love this candle so much. It, it smells good. I don't love the candle. I just love the way that it smells. This smells amazing. It does smell like, um, Oreos. So I'm happy to have that one. That one's new to me. And another backup that I got was Orange Blossom. I had this in my last Goose Creek uh, Blind Sniff Haul video, and I fell in love with it. I thought that it was, um, I was hoping that it wouldn't be the Strawberry Shortcake Orange Blossom candle because I couldn't stand that one. Um, and even though these have complete identical scent notes, this does not smell like any of these scent notes here. It literally smells like a beautiful floral uh, orange blossom. The, the orange isn't too overpowering. It's a beautiful, soft, sweet, orange scent um with some with some dirty floor floral i don't i mean the floral and it has like a, a a touch of a dirt scent to it i don't know how to explain it but it smells natural and it smells clean and it smells like it's from the earth um but i had to get a backup of this um the packaging beautiful i wish it was more orange but i love it nonetheless i guess these are orange blossoms <laughs> um it just smells so good this is a beautiful take on orange um, and I'm happy to have that one. I have a few that I will be returning. Uh, just three. One of them is the marshmallow cream gelato. I had a feeling I wasn't going to like this one. I was just hoping for the best because of the name and because it's my favorite color. Um, yeah, and it smells like this does not smell unique at all or strong. Marshmallow, vanilla cream, sweet sugar, and cream of gelato. And the gelato, that's the part that really got me. It's not bad. It does smell like a marshmallowy, uh, creamy scent. Um, I don't know what else I was expecting. Maybe I was expecting it to be a bit more strong, but um, it's not bad. It's just something, it's, it's one that I don't need to keep. 
So there's that. Another one that I got was Southern Gardens. Packaging is absolutely flawless. And the gold, oh, I love gold, as you can see. Um, beautiful, beautiful floral scent. White Lotus Hyacinth Violet Leaf and Oak Moth. This is a beautiful floral scent. I don't know what I was expecting, like I said before, because I have so many floral uh, candles already, but it does smell great. It really does. Um, I just have way too many florals. I might keep this because it does smell so good. <laughs> now I'm changing my mind. Like I told you, sometimes when I smell a candle initially, either I like it or I won't like it. But then as the days go on or even weeks, sometimes I'll smell it again and I'll either turn into hating it or turn into just loving it. And this really does smell good. <laughs> That smells, um, that is a beautiful floral, but um, I will be returning it because I have lots of florals as it is. I don't know why, you know. And the last one that I will be returning is Pure Red Rose. Um, packaging is beautiful. It does smell really good. Lemon Zest, dirt, Desert Rose, Cactus Blossoms, and Sandalwood. I don't get too much sandalwood. It, it is definitely like, it's floating at the top of the surface and it's very light. Very light. But this smells, it smells really good. It does smell more um, artificial in my opinion. But it's just another one that I just don't need. Um, I ended up getting so many florals that I didn't need. So those are the three that I'll be um, taking back. I also have a pineapple cake pop that I'm burning in my bedroom. I love that one. It smells amazing. It smells like key lime cake pop, but switch the lime with uh, pineapple. And um, the lime is much more pungent in this key lime cake pop candle, whereas on the pineapple uh, cake pop, the pineapple doesn't just uh, hit you in the face. But um, it's there. And it smells really good, and I'm happy to have that one. I have a new order here of 12 candles that literally just came in the mail like 10 minutes ago. Um, and I'm happy that it came early. Usually they deliver my packages like after four. So I'm happy. Today's my day off. And I get to review these candles and make a video for you guys this came with it i mean you would think it's like a coupon or something but it's not it's just a piece of cardboard paper i'm super excited to smell every single one of these um if i'm not mistaken every single one of these are new to me i have 10 not 12. <laughs> it kind of threw me off for a minute. Yeah, it is 10. First one I got is from the line that just dropped, and it's Cubs of Capri. Beautiful packaging. It's blue. Um, scent notes are marine waters, bergamot, jasmine, white musk, and cedar. And the one that made me want to get this one is the jasmine, the white musk. Um, with the, I'm so excited to smell this. I hope I like it. This smells really good. What does this smell like? It smells like something. Oh, that smells like a nice, sweet, clean scent. Oh, my God. It smells nice. It smells like, uh, I felt like I just had something that I was using. Water Lily Springs, but not really. This is giving Water Lily Springs vibes from Bath & Body Works and candle form. That smells, I loved Water Lily Springs. I just put it in my in my empties okay not not too much not too much but it's it's along the lines i really do like this this is nice the bergamot is there the jasmine is there it's a beautiful blend and the cedar is just not too overpowering that's a nice uh uh fresh aquatic scent that's really nice that's really nice I'm happy. I wish it was stronger. On cold, it's giving like a five. It's trying to make its way to like a five. So I'm hoping it's not, you know, I'm, ho I'm hoping it burns more. Um, more intense than that. Next one, I don't know how to pronounce it. I don't know how to uh, pronounce this. Cote d'Azur or Cote d'Azur. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to pronounce this, but the packaging, the name and the notes is what got me. Grapefruit, pineapple, green leaves, amber, and softy woods. I don't like amber, but compared with these notes, it really intrigued me, and I hope that I like this one. Okay. Oh, it's nice. The grapefruit. Oh, my God. Oh, that's nice. The grapefruit is at the forefront. Um, it's a, it's a, the juicy fruit hits you at the door at the uh, forefront, and 
Oh my God, the amber doesn't overtake it. The amber isn't too heavy, which I'm so happy about. The green leaves, I would say it's more like a green apple. The green leaves with the pineapple and the grapefruit kind of makes it into like a, a nice tart, bright, juicy green apple vibe. This is a beautiful grapefruit scent. This is a, oh my, oh my goodness. This is, this is really nice. On cold, it's giving a six. That is juicy and delicious. This is, this is, that's great. I'm happy about that one so far. I really am. Next one is agency. Agent or agency. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Um, set notes are passion fruit, mango, seaside blooms, coconut, and cool waters. And you guys know I love coconut. I love mango. So I hope I like this one. Not really my thing. It smells like soda. This one might go back. It's not giving one I thought it would give. I, I think it's the passion fruit. It's the passion fruit. This isn't, um, it smells like a Heineken, like a sweet Heineken beer. But that is disappointing, but I won't be keeping this one. Yeah. I won't be keeping that one. I will be returning that one. Um, Marrakesh Mint. This was very intriguing. Oh my gosh, this packaging. Oh my gosh, so elegant. Um, scent notes are Marrakesh, mint, bergamot, jasmine, and musk. Once again, the musk, the mint, the jasmine, all of it blended together was really intriguing. I hope that I like this one. Okay, the mint is most definitely at the forefront and overtaking everything. This is like a spearmint scent. Um, I like mint scent, so I might keep it. You know, I like eucalyptus mint. Um, that's an interesting mint scent. It's a very fresh mint scent, so I'm gonna keep this one. It's very unique, it's very fresh, it's, it's, it's nice. I, I can appreciate this. And the jasmine is there. That smells so nice, it smells so like uh, foreign. I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't smell like your typical mint scent. It smells like a nice green mint scent. I don't know how to explain it, but that's really nice. That's nice. I'm happy about that one. The next one I got, um, there are two here as well that um, they're new to me, but they're not new to Goose Creek. Um, I'm super excited about this one because this is one of my favorite desserts. You know, I like banana pudding, peach cobbler, but this is also one of my favorite desserts. Trace leches, um, sweet tiramisu. Set notes are Italian espresso, whipped cream, cocoa, and sugar. And I'm wishing that that they had um, that cookie scent in here because I like I like bakery scents. I'm hoping it's not just a coffee scent. <sighs> that smells like uh, cream and cocoa. Beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh my gosh, you get the cream. The the espresso doesn't overpower it. That's the most important part. The espresso is not overpowering in here. You get the cream and the cocoa. Oh, I'm so happy about that. A little bit more espresso would have been nice for sure. A little bit more because I don't really, it's, the espresso is very much in the background, but a little bit of espresso would have been good because I like my tiramisu strong and wet. That's nice. That's, that's nice. That's nice. I can, uh, I can roll with that. That's nice. Three more that are completely new to me. Um, this one is Aranciata Gelato. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. I like this packaging. It's, I like it. It's simple. Uh, orange gelato, pineapple, and soft cream. Once again, the gelato note and the pineapple, which I love. I'm hoping that I like this one. Okay. It's very, very, very artificially orange. And it's very strong. Orange hits you in your face. The cream isn't really there, but I don't have, um, besides the, what's the orange? I have another, yeah, besides the orange blossom, where the orange is very much in the background. This orange is at the forefront. I don't have many orange scents, um, so I might keep this one. I wish that it had more cream. There's no cream in here. It just smells like orange soda. 
I don't get cream at all. I just get straight up artificial orange. But I do want to keep it. Like I said, I don't have many orange scents. This favors more so the Strawberry Shortcake's Orange Blossom. Um, it's it, That one is just worse. I don't know how to explain it. There's something in that one that I just, I'm not a fan of. You know what? I might return this one because it's giving, it's giving the same energy. And I don't get cream. I'm sorry, I'm smelling it because I'm hoping that I smell cream every other time that I smell it, but I don't, and I'm so disappointed. And I want to burn it to see if it comes through, but with Goose Creek, when I, what's on cold typically, in my experience, 95% of the time is what's on burning. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to put that in the return pile for now. I don't know about that. I don't know. Next one is London Fog. Love the gray wax. Love the, this is giving fall vibes in my opinion. This is not spring. This is giving fall for me. And I love fall. It's my favorite um, season. Sparkling bergamot, earl gray tea, chamomile, and black tea. I'm hoping I like it. Okay, that's nice. The bergamot overtakes it. That's nice. The tea is in the background, but the bergamot overtakes it. That's nice. I like this a lot. Um, Queen Charlotte's tea from Bath and Body Works has similar scents. They come, except that one has lemon in it and whatnot. And in that one, this it's very similar with the bergamot kind of like overtaking it. Except for in the in the Queen Charlotte's tea, I felt like the tea and the bergamot had equal uh, levels of intensity. And I I really enjoyed it, but the bergamot just kind of killed it for me. I was just hoping for a nice little tea scent. And without the bergamot, I felt like that candle would have been fire. Um, but it was still nice. I could appreciate it for what it was. Same thing here. The bergamot is there, but the tea is right, is right here with it. And I get some citrus too. There's no citrus in here, but this is really, this is nice. This is so nice. I like that. That's a nice one. Another one that is new to me. Oh my gosh. I think this is new to Goose Creek too. I'm most excited about this one. I'm most excited about this one. I love croissants and I love my bakery scents. Scent notes are baked croissant, melted butter, warm sugar, and nutmeg. I'm hoping I smell. I haven't smelled a good croissant candle yet. Um, almond croissant didn't live up to my expectations. Danbury shortbread is not a croissant candle, but still. Okay. Oh, wow. That is buttery bread right there. This is what French baguette should be. I like French baguette from Bath and Body Works. I do. This one, oh my God, that smells great. Wow, this smells like actual, this smells like actual hot toasted buttery bread coming out of the oven. The butter and the salt just, it, oh wow, that is really nice. Um, I could burn this by itself, but I, but this would just be amazing with like, you know, a coffee scent or just an, another gourmand scent. Wow, this is really nice. I can appreciate this. This is great. If this had almond in it, it would be a wrap for me. I'd probably get like 10. That's insane. Goose Creek did amazing with this. Goose Creek did their thing with this candle. This is freaking amazing. That's great. It smells like it smells like toasted buttery bread. That's what it smells like. The next two are new to me, but they're not new to Goose Creek. And the first one is Old Time Lemonade. Love. Um, lemon, light pineapple, sparkling water, and sugar. Um, this one and the next one that I'm about to uh that I'm about to sniff. People rave about these two um the most when it was released and even now. So I figured I'd want to partake, especially with the sale going on. And I love lemonade. Okay. Okay. It smells like lemonade. It smells like lemonade. Uh, not too sweet either, but it smells like lemonade. It's okay. Yeah, the wax is a bit loose, but you know, it'll fix it. Oh my gosh, I'm missing a wick.
Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture of that and email Juice Creek and show them, show them that I'm missing a wick and then they'll send one to me. They'll get a whole new order started for free um, within 24 hours. Thank you, Fragrance Junkie. Thank you for the tip. Thank you so much. There was somebody else um, in my comments that left the same exact tip. Thank you guys so much for that tip. I'm very happy. Um, it really helped. It helped with my um, with my Apple Blossoms candle that I ordered. And it shall do the same for this one. But I like this. Is it worth getting a, a new one? Absolutely. It smells like um, a toned down uh, sour lemon heads. That's what it smells like. That's going in the return pile because I'm missing a wig. And the last one that is new to me, but not to any of you guys, oh, at least it has its wicks, is a uh, iced sweet tea. This is the one that everybody's been raving about. Um, tea leaves, lemon zest, and honey. Oh, that smells great. Oh my gosh. This smells, this doesn't smell like um, sweet tea from the South. I'm in, uh, I'm in the South right now. So sweet tea is everywhere and I absolutely love it. I love sweet tea, but this isn't like it, the sweet tea down here. It tastes like steeped uh, Lipton uh, when it's, when it's steeped and when it's prepared, um, you pour it into a pitcher, you add some ice to cool it off and you add some lemon and some sugar. That's not what this tastes like. This tastes like the one that I think it's Nestle, the one that you can buy in the container at uh, the supermarket. That's what this one smells like. I wish it would have smelled like sweet tea, like Southern sweet tea. That would have been great, but it smells like tea. It smells like iced tea. It smells like iced tea, but it smells like the Nestle one. So that kind of sucks, but it's still nice. That's okay. I might return it because I wanted it to be like a sweet tea, like a natural sweet tea. Um, I don't know about this one. Yeah, it smells like the Nestle one, and I don't really care for the Nestle one. I like the natural sweet tea. So that might go in the return pile. I'm going to put that in, in, um, in the return pile. And that concludes my Goose Creek blind sniff video. Um, 12 of these or 10 of these, 10 or 12 of these were completely new. They were authentic blind sniffs. You saw me cut the box open. Um, and a couple of them were backups. That was the key lime cake pop and the orange blossom and um, the hot cream, no, no, the cocoa cream pudding. And the pineapple cake pop, um, I opened those a, a week ago, so those weren't really blind sniffs, but I included them in the video because um, they weren't included in the others. So that in total is six, 16, 17, I want to say about 17, anywhere between 16 and, 17 and 20 candles that I've gotten. I'm returning at least six of these, so uh, I will get my money back for those, and um, I will be getting a uh, the old time lemonade i'll be getting a return of that one i bought all these during a sale it was a ten dollar sale so each of these were literally ten dollars i got free shipping so they were ten dollars and eight cents because they added on some tax there i'm really happy with most of these i'm very happy um especially with the tiramisu and the baked croissant i love my gourmands i like cups of capri i like the mint one um, I'm very happy with the candles that I got. And I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't be afraid to comment down below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you got any of these. Which one is your favorite? Do you like Goose Creek? Do you have any questions whatsoever? I enjoy interacting with you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Have a great weekend.